Okay, continuing on with calculating indicated horsepower out. So when we take a look at the factors again involved here, and from a prior video, we can take a look at the formulas or the given information and the conversions that we did to actually apply it to the indicated horsepower calculation. So if we come back in here and take a look, P in this formula stands for mean effective pressure. And we had a given value of mean effective pressure as 407.46 PSI. 407.46 PSI. And again, as I mentioned before in the indicated horsepower calculation, these are factors. So they become multiplied times each other until they're divided by 33,000. The next one we have to take a look at is length in stroke feet. And we already established the length in stroke feet was 3.33 inches divided by 12, because that's one foot, which equals 0.2. 2775. The area, and again from prior videos, we've calculated out the area in this particular engine to be 30.97. So again, we're multiplying it 30.97. So the next one we're taking a look at is N, and that's, again, another factor. So we multiply the number of power strokes in the engine. And the engine was running at 1,825 RPMs, and we're going to divide that by 2 because the cam runs at half the speed, creating 912 power strokes in this particular calculation. The next one we're looking at is C, which is another factor which is multiplied times the number of cylinders in application. And that particular number is six cylinders. And again, we're going to divide this, after we multiply it all together, by 33,000. So continuing on, now placing these numbers back into the indicated horsepower formula, we have 407.46 for mean effective pressure, 0.2775 for length in stroke feet, 30.97 for the calculated area, 912 power strokes in this particular engine, and six cylinders in application, divided by 33,000, calculates out to 580.65 indicated horsepower which is based on theoretical values only. So taking a look back at how we established these numbers, so we took the given information and applied it into the formula of indicated horsepower, dividing again by 33,000, giving us our 580.65 indicated horsepower.